I just got a DM from a filmmaker friend that I met on set of a short film in fall of 2023, letting me know that an actor fell through for a short film he's doing in a couple of weeks. And before I say yes, of course, I'm going to read the script and make sure that it's something that I align with, something that um, I would like to do. This filmmaker that I'm talking about is Brian Lee. I actually met him on set of another short film in the fall of 2023 and he was a gaffer and we have just run into each other at different film events and stayed connected online. I saw that he was working on a few things and I messaged him and I was like, hey, whenever you have auditions going on for any projects, just let me know. I'd be happy to audition for you. But this time he just offered me the role. All I have to do is read it and see if something that I like. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes right now and read the script and see if it's something that I would like to do because I would love to work with him again. He is, he's just a super nice guy so talented and um, excited to make a short. Okay, the name of the character is Berna, which is short for Bernadette. That's crazy because I'm also producing and starring in a web series called Bernadette the Brave. If you don't know anything about it, please follow us on Instagram. We're fundraising uh, to be able to film the series. Um, it's an all-female cast, crew, writing team, all of that. If you want to learn more, I'll leave a link in the pinned comment. Um, and I'll also link the YouTube channel at the end of this video. But I really enjoyed this reading the short film. It's like a film noir style film about San Francisco. It's called San Francisco Blues. And I'm going to tell Brian, yes, I would love to be Berna in San Francisco Blues. I accepted it and this will be a volunteer opportunity. I still am very much willing to do indie films for friends for free after I read the script and stuff like that. And I'm extra interested in working on this short film because there's a few friends that I've worked with before that are involved in this that I have been wanting to work with again. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm at the airport right now heading out for a gig and I need to get to my gate as soon as possible because I have a pre-production meeting for San Francisco Blues. I just got off my meeting that I had the production pre-production meeting for the short film on Sunday. But since I'm at the airport, I was thinking I should get a coffee. Do I need a coffee? No, and I'm gonna get decaf anyway, but I wanna see if I can get a little treat. Maybe I'll get coffee and a pastry. I'm in San Francisco to film a short film co-written by Brian Lee and I don't really know the other guy. Oh my gosh, I have his name written down. I warmed up my voice on the way here. <laughs> But I still feel like something is in there. So I'm going to go get like a coffee or tea, something warm to wash it down, whatever it is. Today I'm in one scene. So I believe I'm only going to be here for three or so hours, you know, while people get set up and then we're going to film. I assume for our scene, we might film for an hour, hour and a half tops. I just went to outset coffee. And even though the cup kind of looks like an airline coffee, it's actually really, really good. The guy working there was so nice. And it's Sunday. It's Sunday morning. Oh, I love, love, love Sunday mornings. Specifically when I have to go out into the streets on Sunday morning. Because, ah, there's a car. There's a car pulling out of a tiny, tiny garage. And I, I like heard it, but I didn't know where it was coming from. Good thing I was semi paying attention. I'm going to pay more attention now and like walk a little further from the garage. I love coming out in Sunday mornings like early because right now it's almost 9 30 so it's not that early but where am I going? Do I need to go the other way? No it's over there. It's just like nobody's here. Like look at the street. It's so quiet. I just love going out into a city when like before everybody gets up and I feel like Sundays is the day that most people choose or can just stay in bed. This is an indie film where basically we're all friends volunteering for each other and you can see Lorena here on the left who's the art director, Max Wolf on the bench who's the other actor, Enrique is the AD, Nikhil is the script editor as well as scripty, Brian is the writer, director, and DP and not seen in this scene are the gaffer Eber, uh, the Grip, Sam, and Selena, who did BTS as well as Crafty, and the composer Marcus. Not sure if I missed anyone else because I was only in this scene, so I wasn't in any of the other locations. We're done an hour early, but I don't know if we're gonna do some more. Group photo! 
It has already been screened at the 2024 Brave Maker Film Festival, which of course I went to. I did arrive a little bit late to the film due to seeing another film, but I was able to catch my scene at the end of it, and it was so much fun and beautifully shot. I will have to find the next screening so that I can see the full short. If you would like to see it, I know Brian has been submitting it to other film festivals all over. So follow Brian at Brian Lee Film for updates on where it's going to be screened at next. And if you want to be on set filming with local filmmakers in your area, here is a recap of where I have found all my acting jobs this year. 